Ever wonder where that salmon on your plate comes from? It's not just a simple trip from the ocean to your dinner table. There's an entire world behind that piece of fish, a world filled with adventure, danger, and a lot of hard work. It's a journey, let me tell you. A journey that starts in the vast, unpredictable waters of the North Pacific Ocean. Imagine being out there, miles away from the nearest shore, with nothing but the horizon in sight. The sea can be calm and serene one moment, and a raging tempest the next. We're talking massive fish, skilled fishermen, and a whole lot of hard work. These fishermen are seasoned veterans, braving the elements day in and day out. They know the sea like the back of their hand, and they have to, because their livelihood depends on it. Let's dive in, shall we? Ever jumped into a river so thick with fish you could walk across their backs? Imagine the water teeming with life, so dense with salmon, that it almost seems like the river itself is alive, pulsating with energy and movement. That's what it feels like during a salmon run in Alaska. This natural phenomenon is one of the most awe-inspiring events in the animal kingdom, drawing spectators from all over the world to witness the incredible journey of these fish. Millions of these silver torpedoes, each pushing 10, 20, even 30 pounds, fight their way upstream to spawn. They navigate treacherous waters, overcoming obstacles and predators, driven by an instinctual need to return to their birthplace. It's a spectacle of nature you won't soon forget. The sight of countless salmon leaping and splashing as they make their way upstream is both mesmerizing and humbling, a reminder of the incredible resilience and determination of these creatures. And for the fishermen who depend on it, it's a race against time. These men and women must work quickly and efficiently to catch as many salmon as possible before the run ends, knowing that their livelihoods depend on the success of this short but intense season. These aren't your grandpa's weekend fishing trips. We're talking industrial-scale fishing. The scale of these operations is staggering, with massive boats and sophisticated equipment designed to maximize the catch. Huge boats, miles of nets, and a crew working around the clock. The fishermen must coordinate their efforts perfectly, working as a well-oiled machine to ensure that every fish is caught and processed efficiently. The pressure is on to haul in the catch before the run ends, every minute counts, and the fishermen must stay focused and determined, knowing that a successful season can make or break their year. This is the story of those fishermen. Their lives are intertwined with the rhythms of the salmon run, and their success depends on their ability to adapt and persevere in the face of challenges. The men and women who brave frigid waters and long hours to bring this iconic fish to your dinner plate. Their work is grueling and often dangerous, but it is also deeply rewarding, knowing that they are part of a tradition that has sustained communities for generations. It's a story of hard work, dedication, and the delicate balance between man and nature. The fishermen must respect the natural cycles of the salmon, ensuring that their practices are sustainable and that future generations can continue to rely on this vital resource. The life cycle of the salmon, the process of catching these giants is no small feat. It starts with preparing the boat and the gear. Every piece of equipment has to be in top condition because out here, there's no room for error. The nets are cast into the water and the waiting game begins. These ain't your grandpa's goldfish. These are Alaskan salmon, some of the largest and most prized fish in the world. When the nets are hauled back in, the deck comes alive with activity. Fishermen work quickly and efficiently, processing the fish right there on the boat. We're talking about Alaskan salmon, some pushing six feet long. These fish are true giants of the deep, spending most of their lives in the cold, nutrient-rich waters of the North Pacific. They grow big and strong, feeding on a diet of smaller fish and plankton. They spend their lives in the North Pacific, bulking up before returning to freshwater to spawn. This journey is one of the most incredible migrations in the animal kingdom. After years at sea, these salmon return to the rivers where they were born, driven by an instinct that scientists are still trying to fully understand. And that's where our story begins. The life cycle of the Alaskan salmon is a tale of survival, determination, and the interconnectedness of nature. From the moment they hatch, these fish are on a mission. They face countless challenges, from predators to changing environmental conditions, but they persevere. And in doing so, they play a crucial role in the ecosystem, providing food for a variety of animals and nutrients for the rivers they return to. So next time you enjoy a piece of salmon, remember the incredible journey it took to get to your plate. Picture this. It's dawn, freezing cold, and the air is so crisp it feels like it could shatter with a single breath. The ocean's pitching like a mechanical bull, waves crashing against the hull of the boat each one a reminder of the power and unpredictability of the sea. But these fishermen, they're used to it. They've been braving these waters for generations, 
their knowledge and skills passed down like treasured heirlooms. They've been doing this for generations. Each haul of salmon is not just a catch, but a testament to their enduring legacy and resilience. They cast their nets, hoping for a big haul. These nets are not just tools, but extensions of their will and determination. The nets are huge, sometimes a mile long. They stretch out across the water like giant arms, ready to embrace the bounty of the sea. They're designed to trap the salmon as they migrate. The salmon, driven by an ancient instinct, swim right into the carefully laid traps. It's a delicate dance between man and nature. The fishermen must read the signs, understand the currents, and anticipate the movements of the fish. Too much pressure, and the fish are gone. The balance is crucial. It's a game of patience and precision. Too little, and they come up empty. Once the net's full, it's all hands on deck. The fishermen use hydraulic winches to haul in the catch. Thousands of pounds of fish come pouring onto the deck. It's a sight to behold. The crew works fast, sorting the salmon by size and species. They use long hooked poles to move the fish around. It's like a well-oiled machine. Every move counts. Time is money in the fishing business. Every second counts when you're out at sea. Once the catch is sorted, it's transferred to a larger vessel. This process is crucial because the longer the fish stay on the smaller boat, the more their quality can degrade. The larger vessel is equipped with advanced technology to handle the fish more efficiently and maintain their quality. This ship is basically a floating factory. It's got everything you need to process the salmon right there at sea. From sorting and cleaning to filleting and packaging, the entire process happens on board. This not only saves time, but also ensures that the fish are as fresh as possible when they reach the market. The ship is equipped with state-of-the-art machinery that can handle large volumes of fish, making the entire operation more efficient. The fish are immediately chilled to preserve freshness. This is a critical step because the quality of the fish can deteriorate rapidly if not handled properly. The chilling process involves lowering the temperature of the fish to just above freezing, which helps to maintain their texture and flavor. This step is essential for ensuring that the fish are in the best possible condition when they reach the consumer. They're then moved to the processing plant inside the ship. Here, the fish go through various stages of processing, including gutting, filleting, and packaging. Each step is carefully monitored to ensure that the fish meet the highest quality standards. The processing plant is designed to handle large quantities of fish quickly and efficiently, which is crucial for meeting market demands. It's a race against the clock to get the salmon ready for market. The fishermen work tirelessly to ensure that the fish are processed and packaged as quickly as possible. The market deadline is always looming, and any delays can result in significant financial losses. The entire crew works together like a well-oiled machine, each person knowing their role and executing it with precision. The goal is to get the fish to market in the shortest time possible while maintaining the highest quality. The job is not without its challenges. Fishermen often have to work in harsh weather conditions, battling rough seas and freezing temperatures. Despite these challenges, they remain focused on their task knowing that their livelihood depends on it. The work is physically demanding and requires a high level of skill and endurance. But for these fishermen, it's all part of the job. The advanced machinery on board the processing vessel plays a crucial role in the operation. These machines are designed to handle large volumes of fish quickly and efficiently. They can sort, clean, fillet, and package the fish in a fraction of the time it would take to do it manually. This not only speeds up the process, but also ensures that the fish are handled with care, preserving their quality. Once the fish are processed, they're loaded onto a transport vessel. This vessel will take them to their final destination, whether it's a local market or an international one. The transport vessel is equipped with refrigeration units to keep the fish fresh during transit. This ensures that the fish arrive at their destination in the best possible condition, ready to be sold to consumers. At the end of the day, the hard work pays off. The fishermen celebrate a successful haul, knowing that their efforts have resulted in high-quality fish that will be enjoyed by consumers around the world. It's a tough job, but it's also incredibly rewarding. The sense of accomplishment that comes from a successful haul is unmatched, and it's what keeps these fishermen going day after day. Section 5. Factory Arrival Now we're talking serious business. These processing plants are massive, some spanning multiple football fields. They're designed for efficiency, with conveyor belts and machines working in perfect harmony. The salmon are first weighed and inspected. Any damaged or diseased fish are removed. The rest are sent down the line to be processed. It's a well-choreographed dance of man and machine. Section 6. Cleaning and Cutting Next up, the real work begins. 
the salmon are fed into automated machines that remove their heads, tails, and fins. It's a messy job, but somebody's gotta do it. The fish are then cleaned inside and out. High-pressure water jets remove any remaining blood or viscera. It's all about sanitation and making sure the final product is safe to eat. Section 7. The Magic of Machines Here's where technology really shines. The cleaned salmon are scanned by lasers to determine their fat content and bone structure. This information is used to precisely cut the fillets. The machines can tell the difference between different grades of salmon. They can even remove pin bones with incredible accuracy. It's mind-blowing stuff. Section 8. Packaging and Preservation Once the fillets are cut, they're inspected one last time. Then they're whisked away to be packaged. Some are flash-frozen, others are canned or smoked. It all depends on the market demand. The packaging is designed to keep the salmon fresh and prevent freezer burn. It's all about extending the shelf life and getting the product to consumers in pristine condition. Section 9. Distribution and Demand From the processing plant, the packaged salmon is loaded onto refrigerated trucks. These trucks will transport the fish to distribution centers all over the country. The demand for salmon is huge. It's a healthy protein source, and it's delicious. From fancy restaurants to your local supermarket, salmon is everywhere. Section 10. Feeding America So, next time you're enjoying a delicious salmon dinner, take a moment to appreciate the journey it took to get to your plate. It's a testament to the hard work of fishermen, the ingenuity of engineers, and the interconnectedness of our food system. It's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. And in this case, that somebody is feeding America. Forget the romantic image of a lone fisherman battling the elements. Today's salmon fishing is a far cry from the solitary figure casting a line into the sea. Modern salmon fishing is a team effort, often involving massive trawlers equipped with the latest technology. These vessels are marvels of engineering, designed to maximize efficiency and safety while navigating the unpredictable waters. These are floating factories, manned by crews who know every inch of their vessel and every quirk of the sea. Each member of the crew has a specific role, from the deckhands who manage the nets to the engineers who keep the machinery running smoothly. There's a science to finding the salmon. Captains rely on sonar, GPS, and years of experience to locate the densest schools. They analyze data meticulously, using advanced technology to track the movements of the fish and predict where they will be. They track migration patterns, water temperatures, even the phases of the moon. Every detail matters in this high-stakes game. The fishermen must be in tune with the natural world, understanding the subtle changes in the environment that can affect their catch. It's a high-stakes game of chess, played against a worthy opponent, Mother Nature herself. The sea is unpredictable, and the weather can change in an instant, turning a routine fishing trip into a battle for survival. But it's not just about technology. These fishermen understand the importance of sustainability. They know that overfishing can deplete the salmon population, so they adhere to practices that ensure the long-term health of the ecosystem. They adhere to strict quotas and fishing seasons, ensuring that future generations will inherit a healthy salmon population. These regulations are not just rules to follow. They are a commitment to preserving the natural world. It's a legacy they take seriously, passed down from father to son, mother to daughter, through generations. This tradition of respect for the sea and its bounty is what keeps the salmon runs thriving year after year. The knowledge and skills are handed down, ensuring that the next generation of fishermen will continue to uphold these values. The camaraderie among the crew is palpable. They share not just the labor, but also the joy of a successful catch, the stories of the sea, and the pride in their work. This sense of community is what binds them together, making them true guardians of the salmon run. The moment of truth arrives when the net drops. Thousands of feet of mesh, weighted with lead and buoyed by floats, disappear beneath the waves. The tension is palpable as the winch groans, hauling in the heavy load. Hours of work, even days, can come down to this single moment. And then, the catch. A shimmering wall of silver emerges from the depths, thrashing and glistening in the sunlight. The air fills with the salty smell of the ocean and the frantic splashing of countless fish. It's a sight that quickens the pulse, a testament to the bounty of the sea. But it's not a time for celebration, not yet. The real work is just beginning. The crew springs into action, sorting and storing the salmon with practiced efficiency. Every movement is precise, every task essential. Time is of the essence. Freshness is paramount when it comes to seafood, and salmon is no exception. As soon as the catch is brought on board, it's immediately chilled in a slurry of ice and seawater. This process is crucial because it ensures that the fish remains at its peak freshness. This rapid cooling slows down decomposition, 
preserving the quality and flavor of the fish. Below deck, the hold of the trawler transforms into a refrigerated processing plant. Here, the temperature is carefully controlled to maintain the ideal conditions for the fish. Workers, bundled in waterproof gear, expertly gut and clean the salmon, ensuring that each fish is handled with care and precision. Their hands move with a speed that belies the cold and the repetition. The process is repetitive, yet each movement is deliberate and practiced. Each fish is inspected, ensuring only the highest quality makes the cut. This inspection is vital, as it determines which fish will be sent to market. The journey from ocean to ice is a race against the clock, a delicate balance of speed and care. It's a testament to the dedication of these hardworking men and women. Their efficiency and skill are honed through years of experience. They understand that their efforts will determine the fate of this precious cargo, and they take their responsibility seriously. Each member of the crew knows that the quality of their work directly impacts the final product. They take their responsibility seriously. The pride they take in their work is evident in every step of the process, from the moment the fish is caught to the final inspection. As the trawler makes its way back to port, the crew reflects on the importance of their work. They know that the salmon they've processed will soon be enjoyed by people around the world. Each box of salmon is labeled and ready for shipment, a testament to the hard work and dedication of the crew. The journey from ocean to ice is complete, but the journey to the consumer is just beginning. The salmon is loaded onto trucks, ready to be distributed to markets and restaurants. The crew's job is done, but their impact will be felt far and wide. From the ocean to the dinner table, the journey of the salmon is a story of dedication, hard work, and a commitment to quality. The end result is a delicious meal that brings joy to families around the world. As the sun sets over the ocean, the trawler heads out for another day of fishing, ready to repeat the process and bring more fresh salmon to the world. Section 5. The Salmon Factory. A symphony of efficiency. Once ashore, the journey continues. Trucks rumble out of the harbor, carrying their precious cargo to processing plants where the real magic happens. These factories are marvels of modern engineering, designed to process millions of pounds of salmon every day. Inside, the air hums with activity. Conveyor belts snake through the facility, carrying a seemingly endless stream of fish. Workers, clad in hairnets and gloves, stand ready at their stations, their movements a blur of precision and speed. It's a symphony of efficiency, orchestrated to minimize waste and maximize output. Every part of the salmon is utilized, from the fillets to the bones, nothing goes to waste. Section 6. Filet Mignon of the Sea The first stop for many salmon is the filleting line. Here, skilled workers wielding razor-sharp knives transform whole fish into perfect, boneless fillets in seconds. It's a dance of precision and speed, years of experience honed to an art form. The fillets are then graded and sorted by size, quality, and fat content. The best of the best, the filet mignon of the salmon world, are destined for high-end restaurants and discerning home cooks. Others will be smoked, canned, or frozen, their journey taking them to all corners of the globe. Section 7. The Bones of the Operation But the process doesn't end there. Remember, nothing goes to waste. The heads, bones, and other trimmings are collected and processed into valuable byproducts. These include fish oil, rich in omega-3 fatty acids, and fish meal, a key ingredient in animal feed. It's a testament to the ingenuity of the industry, finding value in every part of the fish. It's a far cry from the days when these byproducts were discarded, a win-win for both the environment and the bottom line. Section 8. Feeding a Nation, One Can at a Time Perhaps the most iconic image of the salmon industry is the humble can. Row upon row of gleaming metal cylinders, each containing a healthy and affordable source of protein. It's a testament to the ingenuity of food preservation, a way to bring the bounty of the sea to landlocked communities across the globe. The canning process is a marvel of automation. Cleaned and cooked salmon is packed into cans, sealed airtight, and then sterilized to ensure freshness and safety. The entire process takes place at lightning speed, churning out thousands of cans per hour. Section 9. The Price of Plenty But this abundance comes at a price. The salmon industry, like all forms of fishing, has an impact on the environment. Overfishing, habitat destruction, and climate change all pose serious threats to the delicate balance of marine ecosystems. It's a sobering reminder that the bounty of the sea is not inexhaustible. Sustainable fishing practices, responsible aquaculture, and consumer awareness are all essential to ensure that future generations can continue to enjoy this valuable resource. Section 10. The Future of the Silver Tide. 
The journey of a salmon from the depths of the ocean to our dinner plates is a testament to the interconnectedness of nature and human ingenuity. It's a story of hard work, innovation, and the delicate balance between supply and demand. As we move forward, it's our responsibility to ensure that this journey continues. By supporting sustainable fishing practices and making conscious choices as consumers, we can help ensure that the silver tide continues to flow for generations to come. Giants of the Deep, a bounty worth billions. The North Pacific Ocean, a vast expanse of water, holds secrets and treasures beneath its waves. It's a place where the horizon meets the sky, and the deep blue conceals a world teeming with life. Ever wonder where that salmon on your plate comes from? It's not just a simple catch, it's a story of adventure and perseverance. These fishermen brave the elements, facing the unpredictable nature of the sea to bring this delicacy to your table. It's a journey that starts thousands of miles away, in the pristine rivers where salmon are born. From the moment they hatch, these fish are on a mission, driven by instinct and the call of the wild, in the icy depths of the North Pacific. Here, in the cold, nutrient-rich waters, they grow strong and resilient preparing for the arduous journey ahead. The ocean is both a nurturing mother and a harsh teacher, shaping these fish into formidable creatures. We're talking billions of fish, moving as one, a synchronized dance of survival. This migration is one of nature's greatest spectacles, a testament to the power of life and the will to endure. A silver wave of muscle and scales each fish glistening like a jewel in the sunlight. Their scales are not just for show they are armor protecting them from predators and the harsh environment. Each one a warrior of the deep, their journey is epic filled with obstacles and challenges. They leap waterfalls, navigate treacherous currents and evade predators, all to reach their spawning grounds. Their capture a testament to grit and ingenuity. These fishermen use age-old techniques combined with modern technology to catch these elusive giants. It's a dance of man versus nature, where skill and patience are rewarded with a bountiful catch. This is the story of how American fishermen bring home a bounty worth billions. From the moment the fish are caught, a meticulous process begins. Each salmon is handled with care, ensuring the highest quality for consumers. The journey from the ocean to your plate is a complex one, involving many hands and a deep respect for the resource. The life of a fisherman is not an easy one. It's a profession that demands resilience, strength, and a deep connection to the sea. These men and women work tirelessly, often in harsh conditions to provide for their families and communities. As the sun sets over the North Pacific, casting a golden glow over the water, it's a reminder of the beauty and bounty that this ocean provides. It's a cycle of life, a dance of nature and a testament to the enduring spirit of those who call the sea, their home. So the next time you enjoy a delicious salmon dish, remember the incredible journey it took to get to your plate. It's more than just a meal. It's a story of adventure, perseverance and the timeless bond between man and nature. A bounty worth billions indeed. It's a celebration of life, a tribute to the ocean's generosity, and a reminder of the hard work and dedication of those who harvest its treasures. This is the legacy of the North Pacific salmon, a gift from the deep that continues to enrich our lives. An American Legacy Salmon Fishing and Its Impact Salmon fishing isn't just a job, it's woven into the fabric of America. Generations of fishermen have braved treacherous waters, battling storms and fatigue, to haul in these underwater giants. This industry supports families, fuels coastal communities and puts food on tables across the nation. It's a story of hard work, tradition, and the relentless pursuit of a vital resource. The hunt begins, battling the elements for a prize catch. In the heart of the ocean where the waves rise like mountains and the wind howls like a wild beast, a group of brave fishermen set out on a quest. Their mission? To capture the elusive and prized salmon, a fish that promises both sustenance and a lucrative reward. Picture this. A fishing vessel, dwarfed by towering waves, its hull creaking under the pressure of the relentless sea. The vessel is a small dot in the vast expanse of the ocean, yet it moves with purpose and determination. The crew, seasoned by years of experience, knows that every wave conquered brings them closer to their goal. Cutting through the frigid ocean, the water is icy and the cold bites at their skin, but they press on. The vessel's bow slices through the water leaving a trail of frothy white in its wake. The cold is a constant companion, a reminder of the harsh environment they must endure. The air is thick with salt spray, the deck slick with seawater. Every surface is coated in a fine layer of salt, making it slippery and treacherous. The crew moves with caution, their boots gripping the wet deck as they go about their tasks. The salt spray stings their eyes but they are used to it, it's all part of the job. These are the conditions fishermen face daily in pursuit of salmon. The work is grueling, the hours long, and the conditions often dangerous. But the reward is worth it. A successful catch means food on the table and money in their pockets. It's a hard life but it's one they have chosen and one they are proud of. Using sonar and years of experience they locate massive schools hidden beneath the surface. The sonar beeps and blips, painting a picture of the underwater world. The fishermen read the signals, their eyes scanning the screen for signs of their quarry. It's a skill that takes years to master and these men are experts. 
their nets poised to trap the silvery bounty. The nets are cast, spreading out like a giant web, they sink into the water enveloping the unsuspecting fish. The crew works quickly, pulling the nets back in, heavy with their catch. The silvery bodies of the salmon glisten in the sunlight, a testament to their hard work. It's a constant battle against the elements, a test of skill and endurance. The sea is unpredictable and the weather can change in an instant. But these fishermen are prepared. They have faced storms, high winds and freezing temperatures. They know that the ocean is both their adversary and their ally. It's a delicate balance, one that requires respect and understanding. And in the end, when they return to shore with their hold full of fish, they know that every challenge was worth it. The prize catch is not just a reward but a testament to their resilience and determination. From net to deck, hauling in the silver harvest. The journey of the salmon from the depths of the ocean to the deck of the fishing boat is a testament to human perseverance and the bounty of nature. Each haul is a story of hard work, precision, and the relentless pursuit of sustenance. Once the nets are full, the real work begins. The fishermen, seasoned by years of experience, know that this is just the start of a long and arduous process. The nets, heavy with the weight of the catch, are carefully maneuvered to avoid any loss. Each movement is calculated, each action deliberate. Imagine the weight, the sheer volume of thousands of thrashing salmon as they're hauled onto the deck. The deck becomes a flurry of activity with fishermen working in unison to manage the catch. The salmon, glistening in the sunlight, represent both a challenge and a reward. The fishermen's hands move swiftly, their eyes focused as they handle the slippery, wriggling fish. It's a chaotic ballet of muscle and metal, a race against time to secure the catch. The fishermen's strength and endurance are put to the test as they work tirelessly to ensure that every salmon is accounted for. The deck, now a scene of controlled chaos, is a testament to their skill and determination. The clock is ticking, and every second counts. The air vibrates with the sound of machinery and the shouts of fishermen, each movement precise and efficient. The machinery, a marvel of modern engineering, works in tandem with the fishermen, processing the salmon with speed and accuracy. The fishermen, their faces etched with concentration, move with a practiced ease, their actions a well-rehearsed dance. Every second counts in this high-stakes harvest. The fishermen know that their livelihood depends on the success of each haul. The pressure is immense, but so is their resolve. They work against the clock, their efforts a testament to the human spirit and the enduring relationship between man and nature. The silver harvest, a symbol of their hard work and dedication, is a reminder of the delicate balance between taking from the ocean and ensuring its future. The race against time, preserving the catch, freshness, is paramount. Once on deck the salmon are immediately sorted and gutted, their icy bodies glistening under the harsh lights, it's a scene straight out of a documentary, fast-paced and demanding. The crew works tirelessly, their hands moving with practice precision, their livelihood depends on speed and efficiency, ensuring the catch reaches the processing plant in pristine condition. Land ahoy a journey's end at the processing plant. After days, sometimes weeks at sea, the fishing vessel finally docks, their precious cargo, tons of gleaming salmon ready for the next stage of their journey. Trucks rumble, forklifts hum, and the air is thick with anticipation. The journey from ocean to table is a relay race, each handover crucial to maintaining the quality of the catch. Inside the salmon factory, a symphony of steel and skill. Welcome to the processing plant, a marvel of modern efficiency. Here, the salmon are inspected, cleaned, and filleted with astonishing speed. Conveyor belts snake through the factory, a metallic river carrying the fish towards their destiny. It's a symphony of stainless steel and human precision, a testament to the scale and importance of the salmon industry. From fillet to feast, a transformation unveiled. The transformation from whole fish to packaged product is a sight to behold. Skilled workers, wielding razor-sharp knives, transform the salmon into perfect fillets. Others operate complex machinery, sealing in freshness and preparing the fish for distribution. This is where the magic happens, where raw catch becomes a meal ready for your table. The unsung heroes, a tribute to the workforce. Behind every can of salmon, every fillet in the supermarket, are the hands that make it possible. From the weathered faces of the fishermen battling the open ocean, to the tireless workers in the processing plants, these are the unsung heroes of the salmon industry. Their dedication and hard work ensure a vital food source reaches millions of homes. Salmon on your plate, the journey's end. That perfectly grilled salmon, the centerpiece of your dinner, it's a testament to an epic journey, a collaboration between man and nature. Remember the fishermen, the churning seas, the bustling factories, and the intricate dance of technology and human skill. Each bite is a taste of adventure, a reminder of the effort that goes into bringing food to our tables. A sustainable future? Ensuring a legacy of abundance. The future of the salmon industry depends on responsible practices. From sustainable fishing quotas to minimizing environmental impact, every step must be taken to protect this precious resource. 
By supporting responsible fisheries and understanding the journey of our food, we can ensure generations to come enjoy the bounty of the giants of the deep.